Welcome back to Scale Workbench. I'm going to show you how I built my BB-8 prop. And yes, this one has sound, lights up, and moves its head. I started with two polycarbonate spheres to make quick work of the body and the head. You can also choose to use paper mache over a ball or you can 3D print your body, but you really just cannot beat the spheres for speed and simplicity. Now the head needs to be 170 millimeters tall and a simple holder for a pen at that height helps draw a cut line. So simply spin the sphere on a flat surface against the pen for the line. Next, you want to cut the sphere along the line carefully with your rotary tool. The slower and more precise at this stage is going to minimize any sanding and filling later, so go cautiously. I used pink foam from the hardware store and created two layers. The bottom layer is sanded at an angle to create the bevel, and then the top is glued inside the head. Coat the entire surface of the foam in two-part epoxy, which helps seal the foam for painting later. To make BB-8's eye, you can 3D print the parts or simply build one from craft foam. Check your dimensions and just cut the strips and glue them with epoxy. The remainder of the eye details can be fabricated with foam, cardboard, wire, whatever bits you might have. Since the craft foam does not accept the paint well, coat the entire eye assembly in epoxy. Here's an easy tip, you can use a holiday craft ornament for the clear plastic for the eye lens. You'll want to measure your body sphere to note where the equator is so that everything lines up evenly. After a coat of white spray paint, he's starting to look like BB-8. I considered drawing and masking off templates to paint the colored graphics. However, it proved much faster to draw the effects on the computer using Photoshop and then printing them on letter-sized vinyl sheets. While measuring each orange circle pattern, and remember there's six of them on BB-8 in total, a compass can help lightly score an outline circle to help align the stickers. Simply trim the graphics out of the sheet and carefully apply them. Fine line chart pack tape, in this case 1 64th of an inch thick, helps make clean straight lines around the body and the head. To make the chrome strip around BB-8's head, I start with black electrical tape as a base and then run a strip of aluminum foil tape that's just a little bit smaller around. The top of the head is measured out and a compass is used to score two circles where the aluminum panels will reside. The aluminum foil tape wedges are then cut out and overlap the top and bottom lines and then I sharpen the end of the compass so I can score and cut right through the tape using the compass and so the scrap ends can be peeled off and discarded. The space between the panels is then trimmed in with a black marker. The remainder of the head stickers are then applied and the holes are for the lights are cut out and in this case where this blue light resides a piece of plastic is glued in the slot with an LED behind it. With the head and body finally decorated we can now get to motion and lights. Now although you don't need a 3D printer for this project I did leverage my trusty Wanhao duplicator i3 to create a few of the final greeblies and I pulled those off at thingiverse.com. In order to make the head turn I used a small electric motor 5 RPMs that was set up on top of the body. Um, I used Photoshop to design the gearing mechanism and used that to create the 3D printed parts and then the entire assembly was screwed together and bolted on top of the body using a brass rod that was cut to size and had a flat plate screwed on with a fuzzy velcro that would help BB-8's head velcro to the top. The lighting effort began by using small LEDs being inserted into tiny tattoo mixing cups. A holder was fashioned from foam core board, which was all hot glued together. Aluminum foil tape was then used to seal the wires and block any light bleed coming from the cups. Lining the foam core holders with aluminum tape helps the light bounce around and make more of a soft glowing effect. 
In order for the light to shine through, the stickers needed to be cut and the white spray paint scratched off with a hobby blade. BB-8 is set up on a motion sensor and will light up, make noise, and turn his head when people walk by. His My Simplified Motion Sensor uses the actual sensor, a junction box to house the connections, a power strip, and an extension cord. By inserting the motion sensor in the power strip cord, everything, including the speakers, LEDs, the head motor, will activate upon the motion sensor. Begin by cutting the cord on the power strip and separating the wires. There are many wiring diagrams online for the, how to use the junction box, and the final assembly is clean and can be hidden from view inside of BB-8. BB-8's audio files are uploaded on an MP3 player and the speakers are then plug in. Everything's inside of him as well. The weathering process is what takes this project from a toy to a realistic prop. Using acrylic hobby paint, the key here is to apply very light washes across the surface. Make sure to add a drop of dish soap, not hand soap, to the wash to break the surface tension and make it a wipeable effect. Gently take paper towels wadded up and blot the surface. Changing out the paper towel regularly helps ensure a consistent mottled surface across. This is how BB-8 begins to take on the ivory color. You may need to add upwards of four shades of brown to create the desired effect, blotting, and cleaning as you go. And lastly, the final step is to coat BB-8 in a few coats of clear varnish. At this point, he's ready for assembly and ready to turn on. Come here. 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 Come here.